What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. And today, we got a lot of things to, to, to talk about today, including the uh, continuation uh, on Will Smith. And uh, we got a movie review for y'all today. And let's not waste time. Let's get you, uh, let's just straight on to it. So, speaking of Will Smith, the Academy has finally made a decision regarding the, uh, the slap incident between Will Smith and Chris Rock. So, the Academy made the decision of banning Will Smith from the Oscar ceremony for 10 years. So, this is what they have they have re reported. 12 days after Will Smith slapped and screened profanity at Chris Rock during the 94th Academy Awards ceremony, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science has ruled that Will Smith will who, who was present, presented Best Actor uh, Oscar later in the same evening has been banned from returning to the Oscars or attending any other Academy events for the next 10 years. Smith will retain his Oscar that he won and will remain eligible for future Oscar nomination and wins. So, uh, I feel like that, that's, a, that, that's a good move. So that way... um. Uh, so there won't be too much of the punishment. At least he'll still be able to be nominated for for future movies and, and all that stuff. But speaking of uh, future movies, so Bad Boys Four and other Will Smith projects are getting paused or canceled, and this is what Andy Wire has reported. The Hollywood Reporter has reported that Netflix is hauling a development of Fast and Loose. A new film that was set to star Smith as a powerful crime, as a powerful criminal who lost his memory only to learn that he was living a double life. Sources in the story say that Netflix has paused the project and may also be scrapped for or move forward with a different director and star. But is a worry about working with Smith during the fallout for the Oscars. While this would be the first instance of Smith losing a project due to his conduct at the Oscars, the reports suggest that it is unlikely to be the last. A sources say that Sony has also paused the development of Bad Boys 4, despite Smith receiving 40 pages of the script before the Oscars, indicating that some of uh, Smith's other potential projects will meet like the same fate, including um, a movie uh, he's got coming up with. Um, with, uh, with, with with Apple TV Plus uh, that stars him and um and Ben Foster it was like an action uh, uh the, the thriller movie um I Am Legend two that he was meant to uh to do with uh with, with Michael B Jordan um a biopic that uh that Netflix and Apple TV was was bidding for but now they are no longer uh, uh doing it so um it's kind of crazy but from the way I, uh for for the way I see it. I can see some getting paused and going to, 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 to go back into um into production phases and some might get canceled. For example, Bad Boys 4. I, I, I do not see uh, the Sony cancel this film because uh, so Sony, uh, based on the recent success of the third movie, uh, Bad Boys for Life, uh, Sony needs the Bad Boys uh, franchise because they, they can't just re re rely on the Spider-Man franchise uh, to... Um, Keep them uh, uh, having a uh, box office success, uh, money success to their franchise, and and, and then same thing for um, <clears throat> the Jumanji uh, the Jumanji franchise where and they, and they gonna make another movie. So um, I don't see them uh, canceling Bad Boys for now. As far as other projects, that's up to uh, Netflix and other uh, companies that um, Will Smith had, had had projects for, and also including the um, the new rebooted remake um Bel Air series that's on Peacock. So was we'll that the way in um maybe in a couple of weeks, a couple of months to see what's gonna happen. But um uh, we'll keep you guys uh, updated if, if anything uh comes up. But um yeah the, let's uh, let's move on uh the, the to, to our next topic. Yeah it is Dancing of the Dancing with the Stars is moving to Disney Plus in a stunning move at the 16 years on ABC. Now that's a shock. So, 
this is what um uh, this is what they have, they have reported. Jersey with the Stars have received a two-year pickup for season 31 and 32, and will debut exclusively on Disney Plus this fall in the U.S. and Canada, becoming the first live series to debut on the service. It is also believed to be the first live series streaming reality show in the U.S. market for another milestone to direct consumers' platform. In the adversity for its affiliation stations sent this morning, ABC note that NFL football is part of its plans for the Monday night 8 p.m. slot for the fall season that has been occupied for Dancing with the Stars for the past 15 years. So, with Dancing with the Stars being the first live streaming uh, for Disney Plus, now that begs the question: What other shows? Could be uh, what other live series that could be coming to Disney Plus, and is Disney Plus going to have its own live uh, the channel, like um, like what Paramount Plus have, um, like Hulu and other stuff. So that that raises a lot of question there. But is that this is a, a a stunning move for uh, for for Dancing with the Stars to now move over to Disney Plus? So. Uh, we we'll have to wait and see of the what's the what other the, what other show is going to be moved and what's the the future for uh, the for Disney Plus. And um, speaking of Disney, Disney is planning to build an affordable housing development near Walt Disney World. The company has uh, embarked a 80 acre of land in the Southwest Orange County with the goal of eventually providing. Uh, 1,300 units for qualified applications, including Disney cast members in the region. Now, I like this idea. So, um, for those of you all who kind of live in Disney, especially those of the, who work at Disney and cast members, this will be a good thing. So, um, you don't have to like drive, or that depends on far where, where, where you live. So that way you can live in an affordable house that's that's really like close to like to Walt Disney World. So I kind of like the uh, the, the way, where they where they going here, and um, especially those like um, who are maybe uh, that pass holders to Walt Disney World, and you live in Orlando and you want to live so like like closer. So that way you want to go straight to the park. So um, I kind of like this uh, um, uh, decision, and I can wait. I can't wait to see how how it looks and uh, how the um. The construction and the, the, the and the development of uh, uh, moving forward. So that's gonna, that's going to be very interesting. And um, the NBA playoffs, starting with the with, with, with the playing tournament, starts on uh, April twelfth. The team ranked uh, seven through ten will compete in a, uh, in in the secure final two spots in each conference of the NBA playoffs. So. And you guys already know that my Miami Heat is number one. Yeah, that that's what it is. So um, we'll, we'll we will meet uh, on the, the the winner of the uh, whoever uh, wins out of yeah. It's kind of explaining how the the playing tournament. Is. So uh, you got to you guys got to see the bracket how it is to kind of understand uh, where it goes. So um, I, I'll try to explain it out as much as possible. So. Between Atlanta and uh, uh, and Charlotte, they will face the uh, uh, the the loser of Cleveland and Brooklyn, and whoever wins out of Cleveland and Brooklyn will move on to the seventh seed and face uh, the the Boston Celtics in the um in the, in the playoffs. So that 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 that's how that that's how it goes. And then whoever wins out of Atlanta and Charlotte, and whoever loses between the the Celtics and, and um and Brooklyn will face uh, the the Miami Heat uh, in the in the playoffs. So that's how it is. Uh, uh, and the same thing goes on uh, uh, for, uh, for the West side. So you kind of understand uh, the how how the play in tournament goes. So um that, that, that's how it is. And um and then of course uh, the uh, the actual playoffs uh, uh, begins on on April sixteenth. So the the play in starts uh, April twelfth. And the but and the the official playoff starts on the 16th, so they gotta have an idea there. So Warner Brother pauses Flash to start Israel Miller's DCU's future 
due to his um the recent behavior. I told y'all that this was gonna happen. So this is what says CBR has reported. Flash star Israel Miller may have not have a future in the DC extended year as Warner Brothers executives meet over the actor's repeated violent behavior. Rolling Stone is reported that Warner Brothers executives held an emergency meeting on March 30th to discuss uh, the recent arrest on Miller and their, and their repeated problems and uh, actions. According to outlet sources, the conductor in the room was hit a pause for any future projects involving Miller and the impossible, including possible appearances in the DC uh, cinematic universe. One source is claiming that the actor had frequently meltdowns on the, during the Flash film. Now, I'm hearing rumors that they're thinking of replacing Andrew Miller from with a uh, with Gaston, uh, Gus's for. Uh, uh, Grant Gut Gustus from um from the Flash series uh, from the from the from the Era universe. So that's gonna be very interesting. But um I think that we had to wait to uh, um Warner Brothers to make a final decision if they're gonna uh, make that move. But um yeah, we're just gonna have to wait uh, and see how that goes and what is the future um of Ezra Miller at the Flash. Is uh, Grant and Gustus gonna be replacing him? We don't know, so we just had to um, wait and see what's uh, what's gonna happen. The Crow reboot is happening again, but with Bill uh, Gusgard taking the lead. So this is what Hollywood, uh, Hollywood Reporter has reported: After years of false start and many rings of development in hell, the Crow appears ready to fly again. Bill Gusgard, who played Pennywise the Clown, in his it horror movies will star in the reboot in a supernatural revenge thriller that will be directed by robert sanders best known uh, from Haley snow white and the huntsman and ghost in the shell longtime crow still edward r pressman and michael gray a co co-producer of 2019's chadwick boseman thriller 21 bridges are producing so as you guys already know, or may not know, the first Crow movie was uh, Brandon Lee's of uh, a Friday film, and we love that movie so, uh, so much. And um, this is gonna be very interesting to see how Bill takes on uh, on the role, and uh, see how it's gonna be different from the uh, from the original. So. I got uh, I just got to see how he looks, okay, and how well he he, he can play on the road. So uh, that's the only way I can make my judgment on it. And then um, and we just have to wait and uh, see uh, further updates uh, on the new the Crow reboot. Harrison Ford joins his first regular TV role, and this is what IndieWire has reported: the Indiana Jones icon. It's officially joining Apple TV Plus comedy shrinking as a series regular. The 10 episode series is written by Jason Segel, who is also executive producer alongside Emmy Award winning Ted Lasko, co creator Bill Lawrence, and Emmy uh, Award winning Ted Lasko star, writer, and co executive producer Brett Gostein. Shrinking follows a grief therapist. Jimmy, who starts telling his clients uh, what really the thinks about them. Ford, meanwhile, is set to play another fractious a boot collar shrinkage who is blunt by his uh, trying to approach. Phil is a pioneer of the conjure behavior the therapy who has built a successful practice over the years. Phil has recently been diagnosed with precious this which forced him out of his uh, comfort zone as he grapples with his structured friends and his assertive family and his legacy. So, this is very interesting. And um, uh, we have to wait and see to hear more and when uh, uh, the, the first trailer of, uh, is, uh, is going to be announced for, for that series. So, and um, Spider-Man 4's 
Uh, their director is uh, as Sam Ryan with as director and Tommy McGuire sounds beautiful to Sam Ryan. So, and this is what Coming Soon has reported. I have come to realize after making Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness that anything is possible. Really anything in the Marvel Universe. Any team ups, says Ryan in the interview with Fandango. I love Toby. I love Kirsten Dunst. And I think all things are possible. I don't really have a story or a plan. I don't know if Marvel will be interested in that right now. I don't know what their thoughts are about it. I really, I haven't really pursued that, but it sounds beautiful. Even if a Spider-Man movie, I love to work with Toby, uh, Toby again in a different role. So, if they were going to make a Spider-Man 4 with Sam, uh, with the director, I hope they do a story where Peter... MJ ha, um, uh, 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 ha, has a daughter from the, the from the comics, so that would kind of make sense of uh, uh, how they would do um, the Spider-Man Four, and then also continuing from, from from No Way Home. So that 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 I'm just kind of uh, uh, trying to picture that in my head uh, uh, if they was gonna make up um, uh, Spider-Man uh, Spider-Man Four, uh, uh, we told me we told me required. So that's how that's the way I see it. So um, I hope they I hope they make it to soon, and um, but um, we we'll have to wait and see. And also, we cannot wait for Doctor Strange in the in the Multiverse of Madness. And um, that uh, that's all our news for today. So let's get into our movie review, and that's Sonic the Hedgehog two. And this was was directed by Jeff Fowler, and um, that the, this stars uh, uh the James uh, Moret, Tika. Uh, so much Natasha Rella, Amy Pollard, Shamar Moore, Colleen uh, Oxidine, Ben Schrutcher, Lee Mordenoy, Idris Zebra, and Jim Carrey. So, this follows Solid and Tails teaming up to find a, um, a Master Emerald before Dr. Robotnik and, and Knuckles uh, get their hands and get their hands on it. So, I, I really love uh, uh, I really love this uh, this movie. This was a great um, uh, the sequel of the, the, to the first one, and um, now we finally get to see uh, the, the team tails to, uh, to, to, together. Even though that um, the Knuckles was on um, Doctor Robotnik's side for the moment, because you guys already know that uh, there was a, there was going to be some point in the movie that um, uh, that. Uh, Doctor Robotnik would turn on Knuckles in any kind of way, and then Knuckles will will uh, join. Uh, will have that team uh, team Sonic uh, the, the, together. So that's not really um, a spoiler there because you guys already kind of knew that that that, that was going to happen. So that's not really much of a spoiler there. Though, but that's all I'm going to say as far as that spoils uh, the uh, goes. But um, all the action sequences, the performance in here was really good. Even though some people criticize the run times and the screenplay and pacing, but I think it was um, uh, I think it was really pretty good. So um, and um, and then of course uh, uh, Jim Carrey was also great. He stole the show again, just like he did in the first movie. But um, uh, and I'm hearing that um, that he plans on on, on retiring. But if uh, if they're making a third movie and the script is really good uh, for for Jim Carrey to. Uh, the, to come back and play with Donald Robotnik again, I'm all for it because that they saying that that they will not recast his role and that if if he was going to retire, uh, so uh, that's how it is. And um, yeah, this was uh the this was a really good uh, fun movie. Even though at times it felt like a um it felt like a kids movie, but um. Uh, for all of those, uh, including myself, who grew up uh, um, now, well, well, with Sonic, it's, uh, this is still uh, this is still your movie, okay? So you can still uh, watch this, even though at times it felt like a kids movie. But um, for those of us uh, OG fans who grew up with Sonic, this is still your movie, okay? Don't let any don't let anybody tell tell you different, okay? So um, I would definitely get this movie an A. This was uh, definitely a, a, a worthy sequel uh, the, 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 to watch, and um, so uh, and then 
you got and then also you got to stay for the uh for, for the mid credit scene you'll be surprised of, of the who shows up uh, there and um as, as i mentioned before paramount already confirmed that says sonic the hedgehog 3 it was in development and also a knuckle spin-off series that's going to be in development so for 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 paramount plus and um so uh that's all our episode for for today and um if you're watching on youtube don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell when new episodes are uploaded and post your comments down below what, what you think of the topics i did discuss for 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 today and um and then of course if you're listening on uh, anchor spotify and google podcast and um and, uh, don't forget to go in the youtube link in the description below and post your comments there as well but um other than that this is trico and i'm signing off peace